Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be introducing you to S&B Tanks. S&B Tanks is a sister company to S&B Filters out of California. S&B Tanks is now going to be producing a extended range fuel tank for the light duty diesel trucks. Going to be giving you a, just a little bit different option. Very, very high quality tank. And you know, I just want to give you first impression of this tank when we got it in here at Thoroughbred Diesel. Unboxed it, got to looking at it, studying it. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is home run. I, I really feel honestly like the guys at S&B Tanks have hit a home run on this. Uh, a lot of engineering went into this and just uh, just really built just a better mousetrap, just a, uh, a, a product to where they thought about uh, making it life a little bit easier for the end user. Um, not only inside of, you know, the general purpose of an extended range tank, get you more fuel, keep you out of fuel stations, keep you on the road longer, but they put a lot of time and effort and features into this just to make your everyday experience with the tank a little bit easier and a little bit better and to make it more functional and give it more function than just an extended range fuel tank. So let's get to talking about it. Uh, material, this is roto molded plastic done by S&B in-house. Uh, very high quality stuff. This tank is very light uh, for its size. Most all, not all of the platforms are out yet. A few platforms have already been launched. You can check those out on our website or S&B Tanks as well. The platforms that are out, we have up on the website. Uh, most all of the, the uh, platforms, you're almost gonna double your fuel capacity with these tanks. Um, and you can see, let's talk about the molding of the tank just a little bit. You can see on these trucks, um, this display I think is based around 11, and 16, 11 to 16 Ford. Um, it's molded around so many of the factory things that are on that truck to be able to create space to put more fuel in, namely the drive shaft. The drive shaft side of these, they molded this tank and designed this tank to be where the drive shaft, they used the term where the drive shaft is not going to be. So you can see um, you've got a concave here where the actual drive shaft is going to ride, even if the truck's lifted or, um, you know, I'm sure that in, in, in the case of two-piece drive shafts, they're going to take that into consideration too. But where you don't have that, the tank is back out and using it as, uh, using it as a uh, as an area that can be filled with fuel. They've done a really, really good job at that. Another cool thing that S&B did with this tank, came up with their own system of hangers on the tanks that I've seen that they've got released now. They came up with their own system on that, so they made just, a, uh, a, just instead of having to use the same straps, they're using their own system on that. They're using coating on their straps so they're not gonna rust. You've, everybody that's full with the tank knows it's always a good rusting spot. There's always rust around the undercarriage of a vehicle anyway. They designed their straps and coated their straps where you're not gonna have that kind of rust. So uh, another really, really good job there. Locking rings, your, uh, your stock fuel sending unit will go in these tanks. Uh, on tanks, they're also gonna send you a new fuel float. So what you're gonna have with the new fuel float is your actual fuel gauge is gonna work. Uh, the fuel float will be sized for the size tank. So your fuel gauge is actually gonna work, but you will have to reprogram your uh, distance to empty on the truck. So that would be something that they've uh, come up with some designs for the Fords right now. We're gonna be, couple, they're gonna couple that with Easy Link. Uh, they're gonna have a transfer program on that or a, a, a module sharing program. They'll send you an Easy Link, you put a deposit in, you can recalculate everything and you can recalculate your distance to empty and then send it back to, the, to them and then you get a full refund on that. So that's another nice feature there. But uh, OEM uh, fuel basket, fuel pump assembly is gonna go in here. This is the OEM style locking ring. So you're gonna use all your OEM hardware back. So we know that everything's good quality there. And let's talk about the fill system. Obviously, you've got your breather hose here and your filler neck, it goes here on this tank. You've got your tip over uh, vent, uh, your rollover vent on the tank there. If you were to use an aftermarket lift pump in here, if you don't integrate the lift pump return back into the fuel basket, they've got a provision here on this tank to where you can put your return right here. This is plugged off 
to use this, to utilize this port. You can punch through this with a 5 8 inch, inch drill bit, and then you can run your return flow right back into there. If you don't use it, they send plugs for it. You don't have to punch through it. Good to go. Um, yeah, uh, so we talked about the size of the tank, the way the tank is molded. Oh, uh, a transfer uh, fuel kit. So uh, SMB also has a GPI uh, fuel pump kit that you can mount in the bed of your truck. They have used the universal kit with that GPI uh, fuel fill kit, and what they've done is they're actually putting draw straws, in, including draw straws for the certain tank that, that you have. And what that draw straw is gonna do in layman's terms is it's gonna allow you to, to use 80% of the fuel in this tank. So if this tank's full, your draw straw for your auxiliary fuel fill, you can fill up a piece of equipment with diesel fuel. You can use 80% of the fuel inside of these tanks. It leaves you with 20% in there, so you're not gonna suck all the fuel out of it and be on the side of the road because you've put too much fuel in your skid steer, your tractor, or whatnot. They have those kits as well. Those are gonna be available for this. So that's another kind of a module fun modular functionality of what these tanks are from S and B. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it again, man. Home run. Really home run. I uh really like it i'm excited about this I, I i feel like there are functions of this and there is a style to this it's going to be a game changer inside the extended range fuel tank market uh really really have high hopes for this product so kudos to the guys at s b tanks they did a really really good job on this we're excited to see what they do in the market if you have a question about s b tanks or any other s b products please give us a call, a call like and subscribe to our channel and as always thanks for watching